everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of january 16th to the 22nd so if that sounds good to you hope that you stick around before we get started i've been feeling quite under the weather since earlier this week um and i actually haven't filmed anything since then so i'm not sure if my voice sounds any different but if it does that's what it is also, if you're new here, I just wanted to let you know that my name is Jay. On this channel, I do tend to create a lot of planner productivity content, and then I also do some makeup content focused more on conscious consumerism as well, if that's something that you're interested in. I'd love you to take a second to like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated, and without further ado, let's get, let's, <laughs> man, without further ado, let's just get started. So, I'm here again in my Sweet Freckle Designs planner um so this is week one this was week two which looks noticeably more empty it's because I wasn't feeling well I didn't really fill out my habit tracker all the way and then a lot of these days are just quite empty just I I just haven't been feeling great um so we're gonna get started on the third week of the year which I'm feeling pretty good about I went ahead and I pulled out this sheet from Paper Minty Studio. It's called Winter Cabin. I used it last year in January actually as well in my Hobonichi weeks and I really liked how it turned out so I thought I would do so again this year. This year, so I thought I would do so again this year. This is on transparent paper and then I also pulled out just some neutral washi tapes that could go with it. I pulled out my black and white grid which I use all the time. My, um, and this is from, hmm, I'm not sure where this is from. This might be from Paper Planner Monkey Co. maybe. And then this is like a olive green with uh, stars on it from Paper Minty. And then this is just a solid roll of washi that's like this light neutral, slightly uh, cool toned pink, really light pink though. Uh, washi from the planner spot and these are both 10 millimeter and this is a 15 millimeter so kept the washi pretty neutral as I always do anyway let's just get into it I actually need to get my tweezers here we go I am starting a new job on Monday which I mentioned in my last plan with me it's actually a court reporter job which I'm really excited about but I don't have a whole lot of information so far and I'm going to get most of that information tomorrow on my first day. So I do know that I'll be working this week from Monday to Friday at that job for training. Um, and then on Sunday, I'm still working at my job that I was previously working at. I'm just doing one day a week and I'm doing Sunday's opening. So it's going to be a really busy week this week and I'm already not feeling great. Um, so I've kept all of my plans really light. Like I don't have a lot of things that I'm going to be planning today opposed to um except for just putting in like those work shifts and then a couple of videos I'm uploading this week that's about it but we can have a little bit of fun with some deco um I think I really like this light post here and I'm trying to think about how I want to use it but I also really like this circular image here with like the house and um the smoke billowing out of the fireplace the chimney from the fireplace and the snow falling and the trees in the background like I really like that sticker um hmm. I'm thinking like the only way I can see myself using it would be like to put it in the middle to break up the this week and the next week but I do want to have my habit tracker back this week again and I don't really know how else to do this. I feel like because it's like a perfect circle and the page is quite slim and narrow, I would want it to go in the middle of the page. But I just don't know if that's going to work realistically. Mm. Hmm. If we put it off to the side, I was thinking I could put my habit tracker beside it, but I don't have enough room to have like the seven spots for the days and then to also write the habits. And I do want a next week section. 
Hmm. Because if I use the light post, I can put the next week section beside the light post and still have room. But I don't know. Maybe I'll save this and use this on my daily pages, which I guess I can show you also. How, I'm sorry. I feel like we're pretty far into this video and I haven't done anything. But this is how my daily pages have been looking so far. They're just like really clean and simple. I've just been using the Sterling Ink subscription kit to throw a couple decorative stickers down, but... I kept it really simple and that's how I'll keep it all year. So maybe I'll hold on to the sticker sheet and like keep it in my planner and use that circle in my dailies sometime next week. But I really like this sticker, but I don't think I have the space for it. Okay, I'm gonna rip up some washi. Um, and I think I'm gonna start with that grid like I normally do. But anyway, how have you guys been? I feel like this week went by so quickly and so slow at the same time. Like I feel like it went by quickly because I didn't really get to do much of anything. But then also like the days where I didn't do much, they felt really long because I wasn't doing anything. So it, <laughs> it's weird. I had a lot of things that I wanted to get done this week before I started this new job and some of it just like isn't gonna happen. Um, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Life will go on. I will be okay. Um, so yeah, I have been also posting a lot more on Instagram as well recently. I've just been having a lot of fun with it. Um, doing like reels and standalone photos, which the photos perform terribly, but my reels have been doing pretty good. Um, I just really think that like, I don't know. Ah, oh, damn, what am I doing here? Because I also just realized that these stickers are transparent. So you're gonna be able to see the washi through it. So maybe I won't actually use this green washi and I'll just use the gray. Because if I put the green washi underneath this lamppost, it's gonna like change this beautiful brown wood looking lamppost to like have a green tinge, which I don't know if that's something that I actually want to happen here. I think I'm gonna plop this down here. Yeah, okay, I like that. I do like that. And then maybe we'll use the green along here as like a header and a place for my next week. Um, header to sit on, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I am struggling here to not only talk consecutively, like, I feel like I'm struggling here to <laughs> say so many words continuously because I'm not feeling well, but also uh, keep my thoughts straight. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, I just like wanted to film because I haven't talked to you guys in a hot minute and I haven't been filming and I don't know, I missed it and I had to sit down and plan out my week. So I was like, let's do it. Oh, that's not what I need. Oh, man. I'm all over the map. The brain fog is real. I think that's like the worst part of it. I had like massive brain fog when I had, oops, sorry. I had massive brain fog when I had COVID. Um, even after like long after I stopped testing positive for it and stuff, I was still experiencing like brain fog. Um, which I don't have COVID. I did the test for it and stuff and they all came back negative. So, um, no COVID here, but I am sick and tired. <laughs> so, um, I don't like that. I'm going to see if that'll come back up. Ugh. I don't really like that. Okay, let me think about what I wanna do at the top as well here. I'm not gonna use the wreath because the wreath is like very definitively Christmas in my mind. Um, I do like this like little table with maybe hot cocoa or uh, coffee on it. And you know what? I could put that here 
and I have my habit tracker go like here. I don't know if I'm gonna like that though, like if it's gonna feel too busy, but I do wanna use this sticker. Let's try it, I guess. I'm gonna actually reduce the height of this washi over here, just cause it feels a little tall. Um, and I'm just thinking if I put this here, I don't think I'm gonna layer any washi with this one. I really like transparent stickers, like really enjoy using them, especially on this white paper as opposed to the off-white paper that's in the Hobonichi Weeks. But I will say like there's pros and cons. I definitely use a lot more washi and like layer and have fun with it when I'm using um, like stickers that have that white background. But with transparent stickers, it's harder to layer washi, I feel like. But I also just like the way that it looks and how it like fades into the back of the page. So definitely pros and cons. I'm gonna see if I can fit my habit tracker here. I actually should be able to. Um, let me grab my pencil. Cause I want it to like fit snugly beside this sticker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Damn it, I went in too far. Oh my God, my hand is so shaky. Um, so yeah, okay. And then I might just, I like this. <laughs> Um, it's like a little bit more deco than I normally use, um, but I, I like it. And then it gives me a lot of room for my this week section, which I have a feeling a lot of things are going to end up in this section this week because of starting that new job. I don't know how I'm going to feel in the evenings because it's like, I haven't, I've never worked a traditional job where like every single day I'm getting up in the morning, going to work for eight hours and coming home. I've always done like more retail jobs where the hours are constantly changing and some days I'll work from 12 to eight, some days from eight to four, some days from two to 10 before I used to do like 4 p.m. to midnight. So I'm just not sure how I'm gonna react, especially the fact that I'm also not feeling well doing like straight five days a week, eight to five. I feel like it's just going to be a little bit of a transition period. So a lot of the things that I'm going to have to do this week, I'm probably going to pop into my week-long running to-do list and then plug them into the days as I feel like it. Um, I may not even actually use a lot of dailies this week because I'm trying not to like overload myself and I'm trying to prep all of the YouTube videos today, which is Sunday, for the entirety of the week so that I don't really have to worry about that as well. Um, okay, anyway, I think I can use this lamp up here at the top, layer it on some washi and put my this week sticker. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna take some grid washi. Let's see. Oops. I've also been getting into like fountain pens a little bit more and I feel like me getting into fountain pens has coincided with the fact that I've been journaling a lot more like with the start of the new year which has been really fun I've been oh my gosh this is not ripping <laughs> it's been really fun I've been really enjoying it um journaling is something that I've always had like a more tumultuous relationship with it's not something that I've always seen as like incredibly beneficial in the ways that a lot of people like tote the benefits of journaling. I've never really experienced that before. I am experiencing a little bit more like I'm finding it is a really good way to like clear my head and either depending on how I'm feeling start or end my day and that experience has been really nice. Sorry I'm just trying to line up the grid lines on the washi to one of the grid lines on the page but the grid's faint which I really like but it just means I have to bring my planner a lot closer okay I think I was gonna have like the 
lamp kind of sit like like in the middle of the washi but I don't think that's gonna work so I'm gonna have it like it's hanging off of the top of the washi down I feel like that's gonna yeah I think that looks nice and then um we can get like one of these twigs or something just to layer the this week header on Yeah, one thing that drives me nuts about Paper Minty Studio, I'm sorry, but she draws like all of these little decorative bits, but not all of them are stickers. <laughs> I wish they were just all stickers because like I would use these and sometimes I go ahead and I just cut them out, but I wish that they were all just actual stickers. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. And then I will put this week's section right there like that. Oh, I really like this. I think this is coming together nicely. Okay, I'm going to write Monday. Okay, and then I do want to have like a little... Hmm, do I? Sometimes I'll put like a header that says like important or priority above my habit tracker just to separate it. But I don't know if that's necessary this week, honestly. I'm thinking about what that would look like and I just don't think that's needed. Okay, so what I do think that I'm gonna do though is use these candles. somewhere like maybe actually down here at the bottom of the Sunday but Sunday is going to be like my heaviest day of things to do because that's like my oh no I'm going to be working on Sunday maybe not Saturday is going to be my heaviest day of like things to do because it's going to be my only real day off um I'm going to take the bigger candle and I'm going to put it right in here, like right in there towards the spine. And then I'm going to take the little one and just pop it beside there. I never really write this far into the day anyway, so it should be completely fine that there's some little decorative stickers. That, I don't know if I like that, but they're transparent stickers and they're down, so they'll be all right, I guess. I'm gonna put, no, I'm not gonna put a snowflake there. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take um, some, Hmm, what do I want to do here? I'm going to use probably these drop stickers and I'm trying to think how I want to mark work. Um, I do have like these work scripts from the Coffee Monsters Co. Which I can use. Um, hmm. Because this is like a legal job, I think I'm going to use this little lawyer sticker from the legal page of the Coffee Monsters Co. Is it like a sheet from Coffee Monsters Co.? And then I think I'm just gonna label work. But I'm gonna put it lower and above that I'll probably write first day. I think that's gonna be nice. And then for the rest of the days, I will just go ahead and use a circle and then layer a work script above. I don't foresee I don't know how I'm gonna work, uh, mark work in the future, but for the first week, I feel like I should write down all of the time that I need to be at places. So.
I'm not letting go of my previous job though because this job that I'm going to be working as a court reporter is on call. So um, I'm not guaranteed like a set amount of hours per week. So I thought it would probably be smart to hold on to my previous job or the job I was already working just so that I could have at least a constant stream of income from that job. Also, I get like other benefits from working there that are really useful spe specifically for me. So, but the first two weeks of this court reporter job, I'm gonna be working consistent hours because it's like the training period. So I know well in advance what the weeks are gonna look like in terms of shifts. I will say one thing that I do really like about it is that um, it's normal hours because I'm working like in the courts. It's, I'm not working like past five any day. And that's really nice because as I said, I have consistently worked shift work my entire life, like retail shift work my entire life. And I've never ever consistently had my evenings to myself. And that sounds lovely. <laughs> So I'm definitely really excited about that part of it. Okay, so those are all of the shifts. And then I'm gonna also go ahead and put in my um, YouTube video. So there's gonna be three this week. Um, there's the weekly plan with me that you're currently watching, which is gonna go up on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, I'm going to actually be posting my fountain pen collection. Um, so that should be a fun video. If you're interested in fountain pens, you can check that video out. I don't have like an exorbitant collection. Um, I've kept it like at a reasonable limit, I feel like. But I also feel like I'm at a point now where like I have the collection. I don't really have many on like my list and it feels like pretty complete right now um and then also on saturday there's going to be a makeup related video last week i posted my makeup inventory video and that was mainly just counting all of the items in my collection and then what i'm going to do is over the next probably month I'm going to do one video a week that is like a deep dive into that specific subsect of my collection, like all of my base products, foundations, concealers, primers, all of those things, swatch them all out. It'll be probably be fun when I get into like the blushes and the bronzers and the eyeshadows, but we're going to start with base products. Um, I just talk about my exact feelings about them, if I would repurchase them, what I think about them, because I didn't really, there's no way I could have gone into detail about each specific product in that inventory video. Um, so yeah, so those are going to be the three videos that are going to go live this week. There's going to be one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, and one on Saturday. And that's literally it. <laughs> um, Saturday is going to be like my YouTube prep day, where I'm going to prep the videos for the following week. Um, so I'll probably pick out a sticker for that. Maybe this if I have the room. Yeah, I think I'll just put this here. I know exactly what that means. And that I'll just mark that I'm going to spend Saturday working on YouTube. And I think think that is literally it when I tell you <laughs> I didn't like schedule a bunch of things for myself because I knew that this week was going to be really work focused I meant it the only other thing is that the Coffee Monsters Co sub opens on Monday but I'll probably just put that as a to-do list item because it's open for a really long time there's no like need to rush um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead I, I mean there's not even much to fill out I'm just gonna write right beside it what those shifts are. So I think that's it. <laughs> I told you guys it was gonna be a really quick one. I really like the deco though. I rarely used the washi actually, but I think the spread's pretty cute. Um, I think it'll definitely look a lot better as it gets filled out. I just don't have a lot of stuff to put in there now. I've been um, trying to do reels on Instagram 
at the end of each week to like show up close to what the finished week of my planner looked like. So if you're ever interested, if I've done a spread and you want to see like how it turned out, you can check out my Instagram. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you had as fun of a time as I did. Before you head out, I love you. Take a second to like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.